Phrasing, now this is a topic that doesn't seem to come up too often in snare drum playing, but I think it should, and I think if you think in terms of phrasing, you will set yourself apart from any of the other snare drummers who might not be thinking about it. There are roughly 290 notes in this particular etude, and you want to somehow make those notes seem grouped rather than making it sound like you're playing 290 notes one after the other. So the way that it works out for me, I have 13 different phrases that are in this piece. And just quickly stated, a lot of the phrases are two measure phrases. And just a quick definition of phrase. Phrase is a musical sentence. It is a musical idea. And you're wanting to have those notes feel connected. Typically, you start a phrase with a bit of an accent. And you can end a phrase with either an accent or even a tapering off, so a slight diminuendo can be a way that a phrase might end. So the accent is a little like the capital letter at the beginning of a sentence, and that phrasing off or an accent at the end is like the period. And by having those, it will help keep those notes grouped in the way that you want them to be grouped. Now phrasing is argumentative. So the phrases that I state to you are phrases that you may or may not agree with, but here again, the important thing is that you actually think of what the phrases are. So just briefly, the phrases for me, uh, they're all two measure phrases, measures one through eight. So in other words, measures one and two are a phrase. Da, 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 And that was that musical phrase. Measures three and four then is another phrase. Five and six is a phrase. Seven and eight is a phrase. Then I group measures 9, 10, and 11. That is all one phrase. Measure 12 is its own phrase. And then measure 13, 14, and then measure 15 through the first two eighth notes, I consider another phrase. Measure 16 is its own phrase with two pickup notes from measure 15. And then we have measure 17, 18, and 19 is one phrase. 20 through 22 is another phrase. Measure 23 is a phrase. 24 is a phrase. And then we end with measures 25 and 26 as being one phrase. So write that phrase marking above those phrases. Think of those rhythms as a musical unit, as a musical sentence. That will set you apart from anyone else who's not thinking that way.